Good afternoon. Hope that you're well and that your glass is half full rather than half empty. And as we know, you can always go and top it back up no matter where you are in life. Uh, we're getting towards the, to the end of October, heading towards November. The nights are getting more darker and um, seasonal affective disorder is probably starting to take place for people that do start to suffer from that syndrome. So today's talk is more about, is about happiness and what is happiness and how can we maintain it, how can we find it, what does it mean to individual people. So it does mean different things to different people but general happiness is electrifying and elusive states. Philosophers, theologians, psychologists, even econo economists have sought to define it. More simply, a positive mood, happiness is a state of well-being. At the centre of it is feeling good, feeling positive about your life and having a deep commitment to whatever it is you're doing, that you actually enjoy doing. Feeling joyful um, has its perks as well. Happiness can improve your physical health, your cardiovascular system, your immune system, your inflammatory levels, even your blood pressure and other things. Attaining happiness is a global pursuit. How to be happy? Achieving happiness involves times of considerable discomfort. Genetic makeup, life circumstances, achievements, marital status, social relationships, even your neighbours, even your neighbours make a difference to how your happiness is evolved, how you keep it and how you maintain it. So your environment, which you fortunately have a lot of control over. So if you've got a lot of control over it, there's a lot of chance that you can have happiness, maintain it. I don't expect you to be joyful and happy all the time. That's just not what happiness is about. But some of the signs of a happy person are people who live with a purpose, who find job, joy in lasting relationships. It's not about material goods or luxury holidays. This person is fine by simple, simple pleasures of life, like patting a dog, sitting under a tree, or having a cup of tea. Is open to learning new things, smiles and laughs readily, goes with the flow practices self-compassion, is often grateful, exercises self-care, enjoys healthy relationships, with ha happy for other people to be happy, gives and receives without torment, does not feel entitled, is not spiteful, insulting and does not hold grudges. If you can work your way to being somewhere like that or pay attention to those times when you do feel like the negative side of that and the positive side of it, then you're on your way to happiness. Some of the myths of being happy, people often believe that happiness will be achieved once they reach a certain milestone, such as finding a perfect partner, perfect jobs. As it happens, when we do achieve certain things like that, our baseline of happiness always goes back down to the basic level that we were at. So if you were unhappy before you met that partner, or before you got married, or before you got that job, your baseline happiness is going to drop down to the same level. So the key thing is to have all of those ingredients, what I've just mentioned. Try to strive to keep them in your life. Have purpose in your life. Have good friends around you. Have good relationships. Don't take yourself too seriously. Yeah? And if people do criticise you, then look and see if it's justified. And if it is, then maybe you can improve something about yourself. But... Being happy is not about achieving milestones. It's not about when you get that pay rise or that job. It's not about when you meet that perfect partner. It's not when you buy your house. It's not when you achieve anything in life as an achievement. It has to be a complete balance, like a pie chart. All of the sections need to be filled in to the best of your ability. If you live in an environment where your neighbors get on your nerves, that's gonna take away from your happiness. If you're in a relationship that's detrimental and lots of things, lots of issues keep cropping up all the time, it's going to affect you. If you're in a job that's very, very stressful and you say to yourself, like, I've got to do it because I've got to pay my mortgage, you've got to do this, got to, got to. but you're not happy. And I, I, I used to have a volleyball coach and she said, Yinka has got no time to be unhappy. And trust me, I really do work at being happy. It is a pursuit. It is something that 
is elusive, like what I've said. You can't actually put your hand on it and say, yeah, I've got it. No, you can't. You can't say, I've done all I need to do and I'm always going to be happy. You have to continually to work at it. And this also involves, as I said, learning new habits, new skills, learning the guitar, going back to college, learning how to play rugby, learning how to play football, chess, learning new computer games, developing computer games, creating things. And people like, also what makes people happy is validation. So if you're doing things to help people, like guy working in a charity shop and seeing the smiles on people's faces when you're selling them a book or items of clothing, working at a soup bank, giving out food, all of these kind of things make people happy and they don't cost money, okay? So as we're drawing, as I said, to the end of, um, October going into November, a lot of people will be suffering with seasonal affective disorders. Sad for short terms. So try to look at the things you can possibly start implementing in your life to prepare yourself for the winter that we're going to have if you do get a bit down over the winter period. And not being funny, the whole of Northern Europe, most people do suffer from it. Lack of light, lack of vitamin D has an effect on our psychological state. So hopefully you found this talk useful. There's some points on it that you could pick up and share with your friends and family. If there's things that you know that you could do, that you do do now, that make you happy, share them with us because we're all looking to improve on our happiness level and also maintain it. So till two weeks time, do take care of yourself, do your best to stay positive and bye for now.